Hi everyone, uh, it's Usman and uh, today I am going to uh, show you guys that how you can access cyber panel on a valid SSL. Uh, now if you uh, access uh, cyber panel right after your ins installation, uh, you will see something like this. And uh, this is something that you don't want your end customer to see as they will not like this. For you, you can just click show details and click on visit this website so uh, now i will be redirected to my cyber panel okay so i am in my cyber panel dashboard and uh, first i need to create a website like it can be anything i will do cp.motic. let me see what i will select any php version because that does not matter here I will click on create website so while the website is being created I will add the DNS record from here make sure to uh, turn this off because Cloudflare do not uh, bypass port 8090 so you need to uh, turn off the Cloudflare proxy so save it you can also create the record for www part of the domain save this as well come back here website is successfully created now we go to hostname ssl and issue the ssl for it so ssl is being issued now all right so ssl is now successfully issued uh, let's refresh this page so so you can see that ssl is now issued for cp.wbmotic.net we will now issue cyber panel on this domain and see if the error is gone cp.wpmotic.net you will have to go to home page for login so you can see that it uh, now have a valid ssl and it is not showing us any warning anymore uh, we can also verify that uh, the valid ssl is present in case due to some reason server panel is not able to obtain the ssl uh, you can see that here go to list websites click on manage and here you will see that uh, this domain have a valid SSL from Let's Encrypt and it is valid for almost 90 days. There is one more way to check whether the SSL was successful or not. So you can see here that SSL was SSL uh, request was successful. If for some reason uh, server panel is not able to obtain the valid SSL, it will give you the command. Uh, that you can uh, copy and paste on your server terminal to see what was the error you can go to our terminal paste the command and let's see if there is any error or not it will take few seconds so you can see that uh, ssl is successfully obtained uh, if there is any error uh, you will see in this uh, area so with if there is no error you will see something like this if you want to use a uh, custom SSL with the cyber panel port 8090, you can go to this location and uh, there are two files uh, cert.pem and key.pem. You can edit and add your custom SSLs in these files and just restart lscpd daemon. Uh, now your uh, custom SSL will take place. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, ask in the comment section. Thank you.